Hello, hello, hello. So I'll be doing a live reading and then posting it to my YouTube channel. So make sure you um, subscribe, like, and comment on the video. If you're a Capricorn, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you're a cross walker coming in to get information about a Capricorn, this may resonate for you. So we'll be touching on a few things like success, love, um, what we may need to surrender as far as our shadow side, um, and then just the underlying energy overall that we would want to um, convey for the month of February 2020. So I hope everyone's having a great Sunday, relaxing, getting some rest here, and it's nothing like kicking back and watching a good old tarot read, especially if it resonates with you. So I've already pretty much cleared out my area. And again, this is for the collectives of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please take it how it resonates. If it doesn't resonate for you, um, this is not the video you want to watch. There's many YouTube channels that talk about Capricorn. And um, you might want to go venture over there if this reading doesn't resonate for you. So I'll be reading from my Druid Craft Tarot deck, deck, my Wild Unknown, and then my Green Witch Tarot deck as well. And then the Good Tarot my oracle deck and then i just got the the dark mirror Ooh, and it's pretty it's pretty interesting too because it's it's a very powerful deck that dark mirror deck it has a lot of great images in it and it's 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 pretty interesting to kind of dig on your shadow side and really get to know the dark areas of you and why they may be existing and why we need to confront them to step to so we can step into all of our power so that's very important so i got this deck i ordered another one just to really allow true healing to come through if we're not addressing our shadow side and we're acting like it doesn't exist that's not gonna um help us uh, step into our light. You know, we're going to have some struggles with that. You can't ignore your shadow side while you're working, expanding your light. You know, you do need the dark. The dark consists of all colors. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for the collective. Right now, we're going to just uh, dive into success. What does success look like uh, for Capricorn? Okay. Uh, February 2020. Oop. All right, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like we're 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 we're, we're getting a happy home in the line here. Um, you know, she's sitting here. This specific person might not actually have a happy home. She's kind of like outside. There's like no leaves on the tree. She has a bird, and it's like okay, maybe that's all she needs. But it looks like she wants more. She's definitely looking very without. So maybe she's trying to create a home life and not try quite sure how to bring that into form i mean it definitely looks like she needs to grow her home life from this depiction here so capricorn sun moon rising what does success looks like what does success look like for capricorn in the month of february 2020 so this card definitely stuck out to me you have the the nine of wands right so it looks like again someone's probably trying to defend herself in a way just really uh, harness the energy to bring forth um the capability to uh bring in different forms of what home or success looks like to them um like i mentioned in many of my videos success looks different for everyone right so for capricorn they're definitely a sign that wants to bring in material gain uh just material physical things um status quo uh, so i see them working hard on bringing that into form in february like we're working hard to like bring in that status quo right we're working hard to make sure them coins is hitting our check in our bank account uh and it looks like right now we're currently not satisfied but you're trying to come to a point of satisfaction some of you okay again take it get look look yep Capricorn is trying to manifest some more money, honey. They are not, they probably got money in the bank, but just aren't satisfied. They need more money. They are trying to like really work hard on bringing that in. They're like, uh-uh, I need more. How can I get more? You know, 
uh, there we go. Look at we have Capricorn. Um, what is that? The sun is in um, Capricorn and Four Pentacles. They're trying to expand their money, double it up, manifest more money. So you Capricorns, you know, I know I got two Capricorn best friends. So I know all about caps. Okay, so um, I see you guys wanting to bring more in. You know, I want more. I have the Nine of Pentacles, but I want the Ten of Pentacles. You know, and I'm gonna bring forth that energy. Um, so I could manifest with all elements around me. You know, they're very, it looks like they're, 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 they're tapping into their intuitive side, bringing in all elements to, to get what they want. Okay. They're going to get what they want and that's more money. Okay. Success looks like you're going to go after it and get it Capricorn. So you keep on going. I mean, the underlying energy, don't get too tied up here. Um, sometimes, especially with the four of pentacles, right? With this here, you may be, you, you can miss out on some things if you get too wrapped up and just focusing on money, right? You could miss out on a lot of things. So make sure you're um, focusing on other things that are around you. Focus on other things that are around you just because you're looking for money. You still have other things that you need to tend to, okay? So be mindful and thoughtful about things that you need to be, that are around you, Okay? There's so many other things that you have to take care of versus just, you know, focusing on manifesting more money. You know, again, Capricorn is a devil card in a tarot. So they easily get caught up in that type of um, energy as far as uh, personal gain. Sorry, Caps. That's just how it is. All right, Capricorn. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn. Here I am going to be doing um, these readings every month for all 12 zodiac sign and actually adding additional content as well right now i'm just trying to format additional content i'll be adding um to my youtube channel so please like subscribe comment um capricorn success i look like it looks like some of you might be going through a hardship when it comes to success, you know, maybe we're struggling with a job we have. Maybe we're, we were dating someone at the job um, that we're at. It looks like someone is, <clears throat> again, I did see love and this success. I mean, again, success looks different for everybody, right? So Capricorn, you might be in a love that you're trying to make successful. You're trying to build it up. You're trying to uh, come into a form. You know, people feel like communication is a form of success. If you're not communicating with your lover, you're like, oh my God, this is a failure. Like our, our relationship is not, uh, is failing, it's not succeeding. It looks like we're trying to harden that energy. We're trying to harness that energy in, uh, in the dark, you know, coming up to the light, uh, as far as communication goes, right? It looks like, um, I think this card represents the moon and Sagittarius here. So uh, Sagittarius is really, really thinking. The Sagittarius energy is really thinking about how they can expand with their thoughts. So Capricorn, if you have this card, it means that we're really trying to think how we could harness the energy and expand our thoughts here our our inner knowings you know how we can expand our secrets here um and how we can bring forth energy to like sometimes you'd be like just thinking and taking notations and and just thinking like how can i do this how can i do that and it looks like success for some of you it looks like how can i communicate better with my mate you know how can i bring this union back together communication is the key but comprehension is the key as well right you can communicate with someone all day long if they don't comprehend it's like what am i doing capricorn success february 2020 again this is for the collective take it how it resonates this could be for capricorn sun moon rising venus or anyone that's a crosswalker trying to get information about a capricorn or if you have prominent capricorn in your chart or maybe if you're even if you're on the cuffs of capricorn or like a sagittarius on the cuffs of the capricorn that's probably why i got got this card um so capricorn sun moon rising what is it that we need to know about success in february 2020 um, Capricorn. And so I, I see some of us really trying to, you know, be authoritative and create change as far as success in our life. Okay. Again, this one seems like the success to this Capricorn is a love success. They're really trying to bring into form some, some real thought on how they can bring in uh, stability, communication, uh, you know, get all their ducks aligned. Again, this one looks more so like we're trying to, um, Yeah, no, we're trying to harness some energy so we can communicate and be in a stable environment, be in a stable home environment, okay? Start pouring your cups into each other. Only then we'll be able to birth. Uh, 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 um. 
sometimes I pull way more than I intend to. Um, we can birth what the, the pinnacles that we want. We can amplify because you have birth and then you have again the four pinnacles. Four pinnacles usually represent Sun and Capricorn here. Okay, so that means that we are trying to hold on to our money and, and double it up, right? Triple it up. I mean, guys, t t just quadruple it up um, here and being smart about how we do that, right? So I'm getting a, a, a few different messages here. I see someone trying to expand on their love and make it stable in their home life. Um, and I can also see that maybe they feel like their love... Um, bringing in money into their home actually makes their love life more stable obviously capricorn probably will feel that way you know like oh if we have these material things and if we look this way our love will be better and trying to communicate how they can bring those things into the home how they can birth that how they could double up their money and they feel like that will bring more light into their life it will bring more life light into their relationship okay now you guys there's so many different happy couples without material things, monetary things, right? Physical things. Some people are homeless and have nothing, but the, what they do have is love, abundance of love. So I want to say you necessarily have to make sure you have all the, the, the biggest check and all this to make sure your home life is just at its finest. You know, uh, you could birth happiness without having like uh, thousands and millions and millions and millions of dollars. But it looks like somebody's really working hard on financial gain here. And they feel like that's going to be successful to their relationship. I could definitely depict that here. So for some of you, you really focus on financial gain. that, And, and it's pretty much you feel like it's going to bring your relationship together. All right, Capricorn, February 2020. Success. What does success look like for Capricorn, February 2020? What does success look like for Capricorn February 2020? What does success look like for Capricorn February 2020? This is for the collector, so please take it how it resonates, okay? If it doesn't resonate for you, there's millions of videos on YouTube that um, may have a video that resonate for you. So click on the title that says, oh my God, this might be for me. Because Jasmine's video wasn't. But, you know, um, I hope that this does resonate with lots of people. All righty, Capricorn, February 2020, what does success, what does success look like for you, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? All right. Divine, come down with grand possibilities, grand probabilities, grand suggestions, latest messages. I see a lot of coins coming in, Capricorn. Someone's working real hard and being really smart about what they want. I mean, we're actually celebrating with friends. We have enough money to go around to do some things. We're excited about, yeah, we have put a lot of thought into the work that we do. We're, we're looking like it's a real success. It looks like you put a lot of energy and thought on what you wanted into this world. So the karmic energy is flowing back around for you. So your fruits are bearing, um, Capricorn. Let me go. And I, that's just me seeing, flipping through. I could see a whole lot here. I could see a bunch. I mean, we've been really dreaming and manifesting. Um, but you don't know what, Capricorn, I see that you're dreaming, but you're able to go out there and manifest your dreams when it comes to the physical material uh, things that you need into your world, which is super great. You know, some of you are really, Capricorn, you guys are go-oriented. Y'all out there trying to get the bag, you know, bags. Okay, how many bags y'all trying to get? Please tell me. Please tell me. Okay, so I've seen that green man a lot which is the full card so we're taking um risks here we're definitely taking risks and um we're taking risks with bringing forth new energy yeah okay we're taking risks we're we're taking risks with like new ideas you know maybe you haven't tried something before and you decided hey because look this is fresh energy okay this is like you know being a fool but then you have the nine of uh, swords here so i would say be careful uh with how you're bringing in new energy you want want to be mindful or you could be thinking um all night about you know new innovative thoughts because that's all i see here is new innovative thoughts you know new innovative thoughts are coming in here we're, we're ready to just jump out and grow. We want to spring growly. We're very, we're, we're, we're opportunists at this point. We feel like we can grow anything at this point, um, whether it's light or dark. You know, magic is within us. I see it here. Um, it, but you're fearful. It looks like some of you are fearful. And it's like, even in the dark, it's, uh, there's still light, right? So I'm the energy that I'm getting here is that those new innovative thoughts and 
you going out and being optimistic is going to work for you. I know anytime we're starting something new or trying something new different or coming up with a, a new passion, it's scary. It is dead ass scary. And I see that you being scared. Look, I'm going to say this. Look, we are scared. We are scared. We think we're going to crumble and fall. Like all the elements around us are going to fall. But look, look, no, you're not. You're not. Like, it, a shift has to happen, right? Look at that. The high priestess. Yeah, no. You're, you're going to be fine, okay? You're going to be fine. Um, again, new, new ways and new thoughts are scary. Maybe we're thinking about how someone's going to think about us because Capricorn is very practical, right? And it looks like you are thinking about some new innovative thoughts here. Um, for sure, you might, you know, the Aquarius in you was coming out. You have the full card. You know, Aquarius is our very, very... They're, they don't think about what society has to say. So I see that maybe you guys have like, um, you, uh, some of you Capricorns may have a lot of Aquarius in your chart where it's making you um, feel like, you know, I'm feeling optimistic. I'm about to go out here and get it done. You know what I mean? Um, you, you guys could have a lot of fire uh, in your chart as well. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, uh, that makes you want to go out there. Or you guys could, again, have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in your chart. Yeah, I definitely see that here. Um, or maybe you have someone around you that's a, a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, who's really, really trying to motivate you to, you know, giving you new thoughts. Like, do it like this. How about you do it like that? Um, have you thought about doing like this? Step out of your comfort zone. You might have one of these signs motivating you to push you from your um in, uh, from your comfortability, you know, they're trying to get you uncomfortable for change. And it looks like, you know, it is going to work in your favor. So, you know, take heed to whatever one of those people are in your life. Again, it could just be your own self. You could have some of these other signs heavy in your chart, or you could have someone influence you around you, influencing you, uh, Libra, again, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, who is telling you, go out there, do it, go after what you want. Stop being so grounded. Um, you got what it takes, obviously. So, um, let's see here. Success, Capricorn, February 2020. This is for the collective, okay? Take it how it resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you, then this is not the reading for you, honey. All right, Caps, I hope y'all are shaking and shifting out there. Um... You guys, I do. I am doing readings right now. You, you can get your very own private reading. Um, it's starting off at twenty-five dollars. Go ahead and catch that to a wonderful deal because um, the prices will be going up here. My starting prices will be going up. All right, Capricorn, February twenty twenty success. Okay, what does success look like <clears throat> to Capricorn? What does success look like to Capricorn? What does success look like? in the month of February for Capricorn, actually. What does success, what energies do we see here? Okay. All right, so yeah, we're, we're trying to create, create some fire. Think of some creative ways to either move away from people here and do our own thing. We're really thinking about, this is the not the first time I've seen the hangman. So we're really thinking about some new innovative thoughts, initiation, right? Capricorn, you are initiation card, new beginnings. Uh, and maybe the new beginnings, we're thinking about, you know, creative ways to kind of step away from the crowd. Um, maybe you feel like if you step away from the crowd, more money will be, you know, yours. You know, that may be it. I see that we're really thinking about it. We have that Pisces energy coming in, really in that dream state, meditative state, really thinking about creativity on how we can bring in more pinnacles into our home life. And frankly, it just looks like you might be working with a group who isn't really working with you, maybe working against you. And we're thinking about, okay, how the hell can I move around from this? New beginnings, uh, initiating something on your own. Um, let me see. Ooh. Let me clarify the seven of air for you guys. Seven of air. Please clarify the seven of air. Please clarify the seven of air. Okay. Yeah, I know someone, there's like a fear of a group around you here. Uh, I kind of feel like, gosh, is it your lover? Clarify the seven of air, please. Clarify the seven of air, please. 
Okay, yeah. That's crazy because it's actually popped out and I kept seeing like love signs. And it's like someone who's around you is actually holding you back from your success in February, to be honest. Um, it, it could be because there's a lot of immature, stupid ass fights here. Like it feels like you're walking a tight rope and you can't really step into your greatness because you have someone that's really just uh, has a dark aura around you. You're like, you know what? Uh, you're actually robbing me and sucking me dry, my energy and my fucking bank account, okay? So that's some, for some of you Capricorns, a successful look like from you getting rid of somebody who's sucking you dry and embarking on that new journey by yourself because someone is sucking somebody dry i can see that very 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 clear okay so um let's see here um we'll just dive into love for capricorn and then after this we'll do like what you need to surrender and then bring in the underlining positive energies that we could take away from the reading so Capricorn Love, February 2020. This is for the collective. <clears throat> love, February 2020. So if you are a Capricorn <clears throat> Sun Moon Rising, this is for you. If you have a lot of Capricorn in your chart, this is for you. If you're on the cusp of a Capricorn, this is for you. <clears throat> If you're a cross walker, trying to get information about a Capricorn, this is for you. Love, Capricorn love. It looks like we're trying to bring in a new form of love here. Maybe this is for someone who's single. Um, it looks like, gosh, I really want to bring in this magnificent, <clears throat> someone I would think the world, world, world of, and it is like, maybe we're thinking about like how we could work on ourselves. Um, but I definitely see that we're looking to bring in someone into our home. Um, it's like we're really thinking about, like, how can I manifest, like, real love? <sighs> yeah, we're definitely trying to initiate, yeah, a comfortable home life. Okay, I don't know if this is someone that already has someone in their home. I, I, this could be very well someone that has their home and could have lost their family because you have a group of people here and then this next archetype, there's no one there. So this very well could be someone who could have lost their family and trying to get them back, you know, initiate how to get them back. Yes, try to create uh, a temperament where everything is cool, everything is chill. I was just watching something on the show the other day. This guy was like, I haven't talked to my baby mama in seven months, um, but we good now, everything's cool, you know. And it was like he had his family, then he didn't have his family, and then he created an energy where he can have his family back. That's what I'm getting here. A lot of you kept, oh, okay, this energy is rock, it's rocking over here. Um, a lot, oh, see, yeah, uh-oh. Some of you Capricorns is really feeling some type of way about getting your family back, okay? Um, it looks like some things may be unsettled in the love life, and we're trying to really figure out how we can be the common medium and really cool off those, those temperatures, okay? And how can we expand this love again? How can we get back to the place that we once were? How can we get back to the beginning? How can we do that? How can we get back to the beginning, that energy that sparked that love in the beginning? Um, you know, when you get back to the beginning, when you when you love each other, you trust each other, and everybody's happy, you know, because clearly everybody doesn't want to be alone. So it looks like someone's really, really trying to mix up something here. Uh, conjure up something here. You know, they could even be doing some spell work. There's a Capricorn out there who could probably be like br doing a bring my family back together spell work. You know what I mean? Um, it should be after I post it. Yeah. After I finish the reading, I'll, I'll share it to my page and, uh, uh, yeah, you could, you could, uh, share it. So yeah, no, I definitely see somebody wants to get their, their family back again. It's very prominent. We're like trying to manifest that back. Um, yep, that's very clear. So Capricorn, um, I hope you get your family back. That's for sure. And it's very capable of happening because I see the, the destruction happen. You might have to, um, the foundation that's there now is we need a new foundation. There's no trust. There's like, you know, whatever. If somebody was lying, cheating, whatever. Obviously that, that, that construction has to be brought down and build it up. So that might take some time. Um, so just be mindful of that. It's not going to happen right away. But I see that, you know, we're wanting that. 
and hopefully you get what you want in the month of February. Those are the energies that are building up. I mean, you might not get that in February, but I see that really energy is really festering there. Capricorn, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, somebody, the energy is very, very <laughs> active, okay? There's a Capricorn whose energy is very, uh, there we go, you got the Tempest card again, somebody holding back some emotions, somebody's fearful, somebody's hurt, okay? Somebody's been overly generous here. Yeah, someone is like really focused on some blood hurt that they had. Yeah, someone's really up at night, really hurt, and they really, really want to balance out these emotions, right? They want to balance out, they want to look at their home life back to how it was. You know, they really, really are like, you know what, I could come up with a new frame of thought. I really can't, I could be nicer than this. You know, I don't have to be that mean. I could be more generous. Okay, I could do that. You know, it's, it's like, okay. I don't have to be so disruptive with this hurt. I could still be my my higher self, I see here. I could still be my genuine self here. You know, I ain't gotta be, I'm hurt, but I don't have to be, you know, petty. Again, I see a lot of Capricorns really thinking, I have the hangman card, I don't know what you guys are thinking about. Matt, you guys are thinking about maybe manifesting, uh, a new love life or career. You guys are thinking about lots of things um, here. You guys are thinking of, uh, I don't know, how to get your relationship back on track, I guess. You know, how can you better yourself, perhaps? I mean, a lot of times we're so busy looking at our mate and then we forget to look at ourselves and say, oh, maybe I'm the problem. You know, what what um, what shadow side, what dark side of me do I need to evaluate or take heed to? Because I realize a lot of couples just point the finger. He did this. She did this. Okay, what did you do? What can you grow from? What did you... Um, a symbol that made this go off cadence, you know, like own up, you know, take responsibility, take accountability for what you have done and what you can correct. All right. Um, gosh, let me see. What do I want to clarify? Clarify the daughter of Pentacles. Clarify the daughter of Pentacles. I don't know. Maybe someone's being petty about a child, you know, that could be it too. Like someone's not really trying to, or someone's like, okay, I'm not what I'm not going to do is because we're in I we're at odds. I'm still going to make sure um the child is cool. Like maybe that's the generosity part. Like I'll let you have your child but you can't have me. Maybe that's it cuz I see that we're trying to cool it off. It'd be like, look, this is letting you know that I'm cool, we're good. You can see your daughter, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be generous with that. I'm not going to be petty. I probably said something that may have hurt you or it may have hurt me even when I said, when I was up, well, nigga, you're not going to see your daughter or something like that. Because you have, I see cooling off the child's here and generosity. You know, that feels good when you're able to, you know, co-parent. That's what I get with this is like a generosity of co-parenting maybe. Bringing light into the situation. Yeah, mother. Yes. So mother is trying to be protective here. Somebody's trying to be protective uh, about their home life here. I definitely see that. They're definitely trying to protect what they have, you know, bring in light in a dark time and be protective of what they have, okay? As they continue on creating their own home life, they want to be smart about it, intellectually smart about the coins, the money that they're getting. If you have a mate that left out the home, again, I had a reading similar to this. If you have a mate that left out the home and you worry about the coins, it looks like you can, you're smart enough to generate money on your own, you know? Yeah, you're smart enough to uh, walk on that path and, and create that business on your own. I definitely just got the three of wands. Yeah, you have, um, uh, I mean, some of you might be dealing with Aquarius here, for sure. Or maybe, yeah, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Caps. Somebody is definitely, I feel like, is dealing with an air sign here. Um... Mm hmm. Mm. Whatever air sign you're dealing with, they something else. You know, them air signs, they be moving fast and quick moving. They think they're so smart, witty, and got cosmic downloads. And they like snap back. They like, they, whew, they could cut you and slice you. They could build you up and break you down at the same damn time. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is the love. Let's tap into love. February 2020. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. 
Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for the collective. Take it how it resonates, please. All right, so let's see here. Exit the divine to come through with the highest probability and grand suggestions and answers to chance. Ooh. Yep. All right. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love. Okay, so yeah, like I said, Capricorn about love. You guys are who? You know, you guys are really, really excited about love or going through a lot with love. Anyway, I see most of you are going through some shiz naive. Um, let's see here. Let's see what we can put together because a few cards fell out and whew, I watched a reading the other day and this girl, she had Aquarius and so many different cards that fell out. And I was like, girl, she was like, oof. So you have a tower card again. So some things are breaking down quite um, um some things are breaking down. Like again, a structure needs to be broken down here. Yes, yeah, so again, someone's cheating here. That's why the structure is being broken down. Capricorn, y'all going through a lot of uh, different changes here. Yeah, someone's a burden here. Someone's definitely a burden here. Um, yeah, someone's cheating. Someone needs to get out of a, a, a relationship in February 2020, okay? Alrighty, uh-huh. And maybe when you're partying, you're like, mm, yeah, you ain't coming in here. You ain't about to come up in here and take nothing else from me. You already done drained my bank account and my energy. You ain't about to come up in here and take nothing else from me. Bye. Um... Yeah, keep all your coins capped. Like, whoever this was, it was draining your energy in your bank account is what I'm feeling. We're looking to bark on a new journey here. You know, we're like, fuck this. I don't even need you no more. Like, mm-mm. Whatever it is, it got to be better than this. I would rather walk off a cliff blindfolded than to be with your ass another second. It looks like it's time to birth some new things, right? We have to make some um, judgment calls here. We have a, a few major arcanas here. We, we definitely want to make some judgment calls on, like, what we want to birth here, right? Um, we, a, a foundation has to be broken down, making some judgment calls so we can birth some new things here. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I love it. It's my passion. Um, so again, breaking down the foundation here, um, and breaking on a new journey, you know what I mean? Uh, and you actually have to make a, a judgment call. Like, damn, I don't want to go down this path no more. So I got to break down this foundation, start on a new journey, be optimistic. So I could birth some new things because what what ha what I've been doing and dealing with ain't working, okay? This person been cheating on me and, and taking from me. And he been getting put out the house. I'm like, uh-uh, you can't come back up in here, damn it, okay? And at this point in time, I'm just ready to, to you know, start saving and, and um, fucking working towards greatness and being old and being well. I mean, how am I going to be able to save if you're sucking me dry? You know my goals. You know my dreams. Well, if you love me, you'll be helping contribute to that, right? So we have the Ace of Wands and Two of Wands. Is We're definitely in ready for new beginnings and barking on that new journey. Again, when you have the... Um, this full card here we're ready we're ready we're ready for new beginnings period we're ready to birth okay in these new beginnings okay um <clears throat> and it looks like you're going to be working diligently on that you know when you when you capricorn as you embark on your new journey as you work diligently on that you are going to be able to get back right you know what i mean you're going to be able to get back right you know sit fat live like a king or queen again you know your masculine feminine whatever um, yeah, when you get back, focus on you, your craft. I know I tell people all the time, you know, I had moved away from my craft for six months and I can't, I said, oh no, never again. Um, it's non-negotiable. Your craft should be non-negotiable for you. Plant your seeds, wait for them to bear. You're diligently working on that. Um, because I mean, the ultimate goal is to, is, is for success, right? Abundance. Spiritually, spiritually, physically, mentally, Financially, all that, you know, the pinnacles represents your home life in a whole. So there's much that's incorporated in your home life. And we want that to all be sitting well. Uh, yeah, Cap. 
somebody got you fucked up. I can tell you that much. In your love life. And it's about time that you part. I see a big foundational breakdown happening. A breakup happening. You moving on. Because you're tired of giving your money away. Somebody sucking you dry. And you know when you're in love, you're like, you know what? You make a lot of sacrifices. But you know what? When you get, they suck you so dry. And they use you so much where you can't damn near love your child or take care of your child. You'd be like, okay, you are, what are you here for? Look, I split the deck. It looks like we might be moving into uh, financial uh, celebration or a celebration with love. Or maybe our home life is going to be back aligned, you know, by ourselves. Or maybe even with just your friends. Okay, somebody might be um, meeting Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini. Here, maybe that's what the celebration is. Anybody that's merging out of old relationship or coming in or anyone single... You might be celebrating a new love. You know what I mean? Look at that. That looks so happy and bright. Capricorn. Let's see here. Capricorn love, February. Acts of divine to come through. Answers and transistors. And convey a message for Capricorn love. Some energies. Yeah, it looks like um, some of you uh, who are maybe single, there's a Sagittarius Leo Aries that has your his eye on you. Um... And it could be the person that you actually trying to get away from. So be careful with that because you know how that breakup go. They be doing dumb stuff and they try to come back. Oh, yeah. I think this is the same damn Capricorn because I just seen the three of fucking um, swords again. And uh, that's a no for me, dog. And it looks like he's going to be sending messages and stuff like that. And then, you know, it's going to be some petty fights. He really going to try to come back into your life and really, really think of ways to get back into your life. Ugh. We got the Ace of Pentacles again, sending messages in solitude, thinking of ways, trying to be the sun back into your life. Breathe easy. Yeah, generous, generosity, thinking about some things. Uh, oh my God. So Capricorn, it looks like you're going to be going back and forth with this person that you need to let go of, okay? And it looks like it's going to be very hard for you, okay? It's going to be a lot of back and forth, a lot of petty fights, a lot of love yous, a lot of, I don't know what, what we're going on, a lot of confusion, a lot of, I want to stay in this bad area of five seconds long. And yes, you keep coming up. There's a Sagittarius Leo Gemini, um, Sagittarius Leo, uh, why did I just draw a blank? Sagittarius Leo Aries, okay? This man that came up a, a thousand times, okay? Whoever it is, he loves you. And I don't think he really wants to let go of you, okay? So I said some of you might be dealing with Sagittarius Leo uh, Leo Aries, and some of you might be dealing with Aquarius Gemini um, Libra. This man keep popping up, though. So, hey, y'all. Uh, him right here. Every time I, like, shuffle on my Sagittarius man, he always pops up. I love that card. Um, yeah, so your love it looks like it's going to be a lot of back and forth with your love life, for sure. And um, let's look at why. Like, what do we need to surrender? Or what do we need to pay attention to as far as, like, our dark side, our negative side, our trauma side? Guys, it is snowing outside, and I got to wash, wash clothes. I'm like, ooh. All right, so Capricorn, February 2020. What... What negative aspects of us do we need to pay attention to? Okay, what shadow side? We all have shadow sides that we don't address. And this deck is very powerful. So what is it that we need to pay attention to? Capricorn. What is it that Capricorn needs to pay attention to? Month of February. I ask for the divine to come through and convey a message for Capricorn, February 2020 shadow side, the negative aspects of them. Ooh, the dark side of them. What do we need to pay attention to? Let's be mindful of... Queen of my world, okay? Again, I just got this deck, so um, Queen of my... That's a beautiful card. So, this kind of reminds me of Ego. So, Capricorn, um, let's let me see. This card is very intense. <sighs> 24, 4, 5, 6 so obstacles. Okay. Moving through something. Let me see here. Mm. 24. Let's see what this says. I have a taste for some fruit right now. I don't want to do no damn laundry. I hate when it snows. Where's 24? God damn it. Okay, 
queen of world the moon phase is full stage bargain interesting it says i set limits to my world inside i am queen and outside i am lost okay all right the sentence here says i am my world and my world is me i am royalty It says, there is a space out and a space in. There is my realm and what is mine, and there are other places. <clears throat> I will not care if my world is made of thorn, thorn and ice, and if it's carved by my blood. My world is my world. I rule it. I decide his borders, and I'm law. I am princess. I am blood in the veins of its heart. I am warrior and bride. I am alone. I am the first among many. Be feel fearful of my world because it paves of my hopes and dreams and you have no power there. I am greater than stars and more beautiful than moon. So like I said, it looks like ego. Okay? And uh, w way too much ego to be quite frank. Okay? Um, I would say that there's, you, you need different energies to orchestrate in your world because you might not have some things that, you know, how you can maneuver and manifest. You need different elements. You need different personalities. You need someone to bring different thoughts and ideas to help you. And clearly, if you have this frame of thought, you're not going to... You're you're st you're 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 not gonna, you're gonna miss out on a lot of information that's gonna make your world better. So yeah, that 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 was intense. Like I got this is a very it's called the dark mirror, and it is a very intense deck. I tell you, it's actually one of my favorite because it just is so deep. Whoever created this oracle deck took a lot of time. Okay, I I could tell that their guys came in and really channeled. Um, this for them because it it's deep all right so on a lighter note i'm gonna do this soulful deck okay so what's what's underlying energy that um what messages the underlying message that we want to convey overall for the month of february okay well we have capricorn the underlying overall message All right, and then we're going to close up the reading again. Um, if you want a private reading, your very own private reading, you can inbox me, DM me, um, like, subscribe to my channel. Um, because some people, you know, miss the readings and all that. You can subscribe to my channel, Star Card Tarot. Um, I'll be, like, just posting the links in my Facebook feed there. So, whew. Capricorn underline any underlying message for Capricorn that we're trying to underline message for Capricorn February 2020. Okay, there finally. It says I embrace my body. Okay. Look at that card, take it in. It's a beautiful card. It feels like she's sitting in the garden and she's embracing all aspects of her. You know, your garden is beautiful. And you should look at your body as a beautiful garden, a beautiful art of just flourishing, you know, roses. It says, I honor and embrace all of my body. I am receptive to her specific needs. So again, like I mentioned, a garden, you're going to go out there, you're going to feed the garden, you're going to plant it, you're going to give it plant food, you're going to make sure it's fertilized, the sun's hitting it in uh, the proper lighting, you know, you're going to make sure that there's gates around, you know, the garden to make sure that, you know, all the little animals and insects aren't eating your, from your garden. So, you know, protect yourself. Your, your body is sacred, right? So that's the underlying message from Spirit, okay? So Capricorn, again, um, I'm going to post it. You can share it, uh, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Star Card Tarot. I'll be sending a link over. And um, if you want a private reading, your very own private uh, personal readings, we could really delve deep into your personal life because this is a reading for the collective. You can always uh, inbox me, DM me, email me, and I got you. All right, you guys, peace, peace, y'all.